Scott heard the bottom step of the stairs creak as though someone's just come down the stairs, hit the bottom step and my mail rem device went off for about 10, 5, 10 seconds. Which is located right at the bottom. Which is at stairs. right at the bottom of the stairs on the little uh, little telephone table, I think it's called. How many times? That's, that that's six times now, isn't it? Yeah. Six, six it goes times. Let's go. It went off and come yeah. back on straight away. Oh, I was at your grid pen. And I heard that bottom step. Then is that someone in the hallway? Basically, the reason why we are here is to prove that you do exist. Emma or Emily, if you can hear my voice, if it is Emma or Emily that we have with us this evening, can you open that door again for us? Emily or Emma, did you open the door for us? Can we come and see? Is that it? That is. It's, it's open. open. It's open. Oh, that is awesome, Lee. As you can see, the door is now open. If we sit both down on the chairs, yeah. I might just have my camera on there. Yeah, if we yes. sit both down on the chairs, yeah. I might just have my camera a bit there. Yeah. What about if we sit both down on the chairs? Yeah. I might just have my camera on there. If we yes. sit both down on the chairs, yeah. I might just have my camera on here. Okay, so now the time has come for me to do my 30 minutes alone time in the house. Good luck. <laughs> so yeah, well, I'm looking forward to it, as you can see. A um, little bit nervous, if I might say so, um, with this house being known as the most haunted house in the country. And if also not the when world. you're on your own, you're more you feel more vulnerable. Yeah, you definitely own. feel vulnerable in this house on your own. Um, you feel like something's watching you and you it's that ante anticipation of yeah, something yeah. can happen. So yeah, I'm quite nervous about it, but I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna pop outside for half an hour. Scott's <laughs> gonna sit in the car for a bit. And uh, while I'm in here doing my thing, um, yeah. Yeah, so. Hopefully this next half hour will go quite quickly. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Scott's leaving the house now. Good luck, I'll see you in a bit. I'll see you in half an hour if I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so there we go. I'm now locking the door. That's me now, locked on my own in the most haunted house in the country. So... Let's do a bit of calling out, see what happens. To the spirits of 30 East Drive, I'm here in the house on my own now. Maybe you prefer just one person in the house on their own. 
If you can come forward and let me know that you're here. That would be great. I'm now in the living room. Just close that. If there's anybody here with me in this house and you can hear my voice, if you're upstairs, can I hear you upstairs? Please come down the stairs and join me in the living room. My name's Ross. I come here as a friend. In fact, I think what I'll do is I'll go into night vision and sit here in the dark. There we go. I'm now here in the dark, in a haunted house, supposedly. Well, like I've said, this is mine and Scott's third time here. And the two times that we've been here before, we have had significant activity for us to be absolutely certain that this house is haunted. Certain things have happened in this house. But when you do come in here, you do get the that creepy vibe that you're being watched. Is there anyone in this house with me? that would like to come forward and make themselves known. If you are, can you give me a sign that you're here? If I can hear your footsteps upstairs, or if you can make a knocking sound upstairs, a tap, to let me know what room you're in. Or if you'd like me to come upstairs, give me a sign. So I can hear your voice. Can you come and tell me your name? Do 
Do we have Fred here this evening with me? The black monk of Pontefract? I know this is your house. And I come here with respect for you. I respect the fact that this is your house. That's the wind, I think. It is very windy outside today. Do we have any other spirits here with me? Do we have Emma or Emily? Can you come and let me know that you're here? We have various devices on the top landing upstairs. If you can interact with one of those to let me know that you're here. We've already heard you once this evening we heard you come down the stairs and you set off the mail rem at the bottom of the stairs and you've been flashing some cat balls. Could you perhaps do that again and let me hear you on the stairs? anybody in the hallway? Is there anybody upstairs? I'll just sit on the stairs for a bit. Is there anybody upstairs? If there is anyone upstairs, can we hear you upstairs, hear your footsteps? Or if you can knock anywhere? Would you like me to come upstairs?
Who do we have in the house with us now? If you can hear my voice, don't be afraid. I'm not here to upset you, or disrespect you. I know you get a lot of people in here every night asking you to do things, telling you to do things. But I would really appreciate it if you could make yourself known to me. Just to give me that validation that there is someone here. I can hear sounds outside. Would you like me to come upstairs? feel quite nervous now. Okay spirits, I'm coming up. There's my REM port device on the banister. I'm upstairs now. I am on my own. I know this is the most active part of the house. This is where you like to be heard and seen. as people have seen you and heard you on many occasions. Are you able to do something for me now? Again, I'm sorry that I keep asking you to do stuff. I know it must annoy you. And I'm sure you're fed up with it by now. But like I said, I'm just here to document you and I would just like confirmation and validation that you are here with me and that there is something here in this house. Are you able to copy me? Can you copy that? Perhaps I can hear your voice.
You can growl at me, you can hiss at me, you can talk to me. Is there anything you can do for me to let me know that you're here? You can do anything you want. I'll leave it up to you. From now on, I won't ask you to do anything. It's now all on your terms. Philip's bedroom. Like I said on the, the walk around, to me this is the creepiest room of the house. This seems to be the house that gets the most activity. And this is where me and Scott will be sleeping tonight. Is there someone here with me? To the spirits of East Drive, can you give me some sort of sign 
that I'm not alone here. give us a big knock, big tap on anything. Walk past the bedroom doorway. What can you do for me this evening? Are you able to come forward? And talk to me? Are you able to talk to me? If Emma or Emily is here, can you open that door for me? Can you let me in the bedroom? If you can open that door for me, that would be amazing. You've done it twice this evening. Very quiet. Come and tell me your name. Is the black monk here? Who should we be afraid of in this house? Can you tell me where I am? Can you tell me how many spirits there are in this house right now?
Come on, who's here, please? Don't be afraid of me. I'm sure you're not. So we're now about to go into the coal shed um, where it's known that people get locked in there by Fred um, and people just don't generally like to go in there. So we're going in, wish us luck. We'll give it a try. Calling out to the spirits of 30 East Drive, especially Fred or the Black Monk, however you like to be called. We are now in the coal shed and I know you don't like people in here. Yeah, you like to keep them locked in here sometimes, don't you? So come and trap us in here. Come and bang on the door. This is where the, all the bits of coal are that you don't like people to take with them. We won't take any with us, but this is the room that's known that you don't like people in. Make a noise or a bang outside to let us know you don't want us in here. Or make any noise in the house loud enough that we can hear you. Just please don't push my camera over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's quite expensive. Yes. Come and tell us that you're here. Tell us to get out. Can you copy this? Slam a door shut in the house. Come and show us your disapproval of us being in the coal shed. Come and show us what you do to people that are in your coal shed. Come on, what are you going to do? What are you going to do to get us out of here? So ride them up. <laughs> <laughs> what was it we said before we come <laughs> well, on? We need to stir something up. Can you show them nothing but respect? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably not a good idea right before we go to bed. Yeah, exactly. We do mean respect as well. We do have respect for you. 
because I don't think we need to get into the ship for this one. <laughs> Well, nothing's really happened so far. No, it started off, like I say, it started off well, and then mm. after we had a couple of good experiences, it sort of died down, really. We've had quite a bit on the f cat ball flashing. Yeah. And obviously the mail room went off for a bit at the mid beginning of the night. Yeah. We've heard the noise on the stairs, like the last step, then the mail room went off. The diet room and dine's room, the door opened yeah, twice. Twice. Once where we heard the actual click of it open. And once when we was in the living room chatting away. Yeah. And then went upstairs and it was open. On both time and both occasions we checked the door was fully shut. Mm -hmm. Pushed our weight or you pushed your weight on it. Yeah. We've had the odd sort of odd noise that we can't explain. Yeah. Like there was well, it's, it's more noise or a sound that we can't really put down yeah. as paranormal. Mm. It could be the general noises of the house, you know, like there settling or... There was a noise when we was at the bottom of the stairs and it sounded like a bit of a shuffling noise upstairs. But, yeah. but then I not long turned the heating off. But we shall go to go to sleep, go to bed, and hopefully catch something while we're asleep. Because we'll have a a few cameras rolling. Yeah. Hopefully, something will come alive in the house and show themselves, or uh, say something or on the say camera. Say something, or who knows. Yeah, we're going to have a camera in the kitchen, um, camera facing up the stairs and in the hallway. A camera facing down the top landing. And then obviously a camera on us while we're asleep. So yes, it should be very interesting. Hmm. Hopefully we catch something on there. Yeah, would be nice. Come on, if there is anybody in this house with us, please come and interact with us. We're going to be going to bed soon. It'd be nice if you can do something before we go to bed. We know you. We know you can. You can do it. We know you can push that door open. We know you can open the door. Can you do it for us now, please? If you don't mind. Would you like us to count you down? Should we count down from ten? And when we get to one. Would you be able to push that door open? Let's try. Let's, let's give it a go. 10, Ten 9, 8, 7, seven 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, two 1, one go. No. Oh well. We tried. Who do we have in the house this evening? Come and tell me your name. Do it. 
Do we have any children in here this evening? We know this is the room that the children like to play in. But it's the room with all the children's teddies and toys and playhouse in. Come and tell us your favourite toy to play with in there. Did I say? Can you tell us your favourite toy? Is there anyone in here tonight that is waiting for us to go to bed? Are you waiting for us to stop filming? Come and tell me who you are. Is this house as haunted as they say it is? Someone's got to be there, come on. Is the black monk here? Fred, are you here? 